Hi there, my name is Armano and welcome to the channel. Several Linux distributions offer also a server version of the operating system. Fedora is one of them. I'm going to show you how you can install very quickly Fedora server on VirtualBox and access its graphical interface. So let's get started. First things first, let's download the image. So I'm going to go to my browser here. And you want to go to the Fedora website, getfedora.org. And here you can choose to download the server version. So I'll click on download now. The thing is, as you can see right now, these are images for the ARM architecture. So there are no ISOs here for the PC 64-bit architecture. So in order to do that, uh, you'll have to go to the Fedora mirrors, choose the version, which is 31 and 8664, which is in this case, my architecture. Click on that, choose the country which is closest to you. Well, in my case, it was Switzerland. I'm gonna choose one of these two HTTPS or HTTP server. And from here, I can go to development 31 server 64-bit version ISO, and then download the image here. I've downloaded this image already, so we are ready to start with Roblox. So let me open up VirtualBox here. And I'm gonna create a new virtual machine. I'm gonna call it Fedora Server. I'm gonna bump the memory up to four gigs and I'm gonna create a new disk with, uh, let's say 32 gigs. And I wanna go to the settings shortly and tweak some things here. So the processor, I'm gonna bump it up to two processors. I'm gonna give the display 128, although I'm not gonna need that really, but I'm just gonna do that, I'm used to it. And I'm gonna click the storage and I'm gonna attach the image we just downloaded to the IDE controller. And the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to network and change this to bridged adapter. And in the advanced options, I'll just click here, allow all. This will give me the possibility to have an IP that I can reach within my home network. I click okay, and then start. So I'm gonna scroll up to install Fedora 31 and just hit enter. It's gonna take a while to start the installer. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English here, click continue. Yes, this is unstable pre-release software. It's okay, I just wanna test this. So I want to proceed. Next, I'm gonna change my keyboard layout as I have a Swiss keyboard here. So I'm gonna click on the plus and type in Switzerland and choose my keyboard. Add, and I'm gonna delete the English one as I don't need this. Click done. Now, as you see here, the installation source, it's selected to closest mirror and which is fine. And the software selection, here you can select what kind of server you want to build. So right now I have Fedora Server Edition. You could choose Fedora Workstation or any other option here. And at the same time, you can also select some add-ons for your environment. But I'm going to leave it as it is, as this is just a demo for the installation. So I'm going to click Done. Next, I'm going to click on the Installation Destination. Looks fine. Uh, click done. Root password. Right now the root account is disabled. I want to enable this. So I'm going to put in the root password. And click done. And I'm going to create the user as well. So I'm going to type my name here. And I'll make this user administrator and then I'll tap in the password. There you go, click done. And then begin installation. So it's gonna take a while to install all the system. I'll be back when it's done.
So here is done. So I'll go ahead and reboot the system and make sure that I disconnect the system image. Otherwise, I'll go boot into installer again. And I'm going to go ahead and boot Fedora server. And there you go. So I'm going to log in with my username and my password. There you go. Now, I want to find out my IP address here because I don't want to install the guest editions. I don't need to do that as I will be accessing the graphical interface from the browser. So in order to do that, I'm going to type ifconfig. And as you can see, this is my IP address here, 192.168.140. So I'm going to open up my browser again, open a new window, and type in 192. 168 plus 1 plus 40 at 1990. And there you go. So the connection, of course, is not secure. I don't have an SSL installed here. So I'm going to click on advanced, proceed. And this is the Fedora server graphical interface. So I'm going to log in with my username again. And voila. This is the console. So from here, I could go, for example, to the terminal and I could check for updates, for example. So I'm up to date, there's nothing to do. And there we go. That's a very simple installation of Fedora Server. I showed you how to find the ISO for your architecture and to install it quickly on VirtualBox. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tip. And if you want to see more, make sure you like this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.